Uh, what else we got? God, we got a few movies, don't we? Your there's TV a few shows? movies. There's, oh. a, there's a few things here. Oh, there might be The Wire. might the be over wire. here somewhere. I see there's the Starship Troopers thing. It's mostly Walking Dead based at the moment <laughs> uh, because it's a Walker stalker. <laughs> and, you know, I didn't want to pay that much to reproduce pictures people wouldn't buy. They wouldn't buy Teen Wolf? Well, there have been wise. quite a few Teen Wolf friends that have actually sold out of the Teen Wolf stuff, and I think that's because Teen Wolf is coming to a close. Yeah. So people are uh, a little more uh, excited to, to collect whatever they can about it. All I'm right. going to miss Teen Wolf. You are? I, I really am, actually. It's so are you, really still do, are you still doing stuff on there right I now? I did for the final season, yeah. So were you running back and forth from Atlanta I, to here? I, you know, that's, that's what I did the first couple of years I was on The Walking Dead, but this, but this year because of the accident to Dylan, yeah. they kind of had to switch their schedule around. And I wasn't able to do as many as I wanted to. Ah. You know. All right. So born in New York City. Yes. How is it? Uh, where are you residing now? I'm assuming in Atlanta someplace. No. no? I, I, I go down there. I get like temporary housing. You know, my, uh-huh. my home base is still New York. But I go and get like the corporate housing that has <laughs> the furniture and yeah. the washer dryer and the plates and stuff like that. So is your whole life engulfed with The Walking Dead right now? Pretty much. It's just all Walking Dead all the time. So how many of your agents probably get other stuff? How many offers are you getting to do other movies? you got to be. Got to uh, be, man. You know, I have yet to. <laughs> Come on, man. You're... I have yet to have an offer passed on to me. Yeah. No, I'm still auditioning for things, man. Are you really? Yeah. Yeah. Still you, auditioning. You do an amazing job in the show. Thank you. Thank and you I'm, I'm not coming off as a fan or anything like that, but... You can come off as a fan. I don't oh, my God. Fans. Will you sign this for me? I love you. Now, did you... Let, let's start off. We're going to go with Starship Troopers. Yeah. Did you ever think... And we go back to those days. I saw you in the movie. Did you ever think this kind of stuff was going to happen? This whole, we're going to go someplace and sign autographs? I mean, this is, even yeah. for me doing interviews with you, yeah. I never did it like this. It was always the agent. I got to meet you in a yeah. hotel room. It was always like that. Yeah. This is different. This is kind of otherworldly. I could not have imagined. I, di- I didn't know this This whole universe existed until about four years ago. Unbelievable. And it was like a convention for what? Who? No, what, what happens at these things? And then I went and saw 40,000 yes. people is that amazing? in a barn. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Taking pictures with people and, and, and looking for autographs and ta- talking about, you know, dialogues of yeah. TV shows that are 30 years gone, you know. And do they expect you to know exactly what's going to happen in the next episode? They do. <laughs> they do. And they want to all, they want to know the, until I threaten to tell them, and then they don't want to know. All right. Okay, this is something I'm going to talk about. Father, all right? Yes. When you're playing the priest, um, when you were kind of screwed over people a little bit, did they hate you? They hated me like nobody's business. I think they felt very betrayed because he was a priest. <laughs> and then when the... So do you get... <laughs> I want to ask, and I don't want to direct people to do this. I mean, have you had anybody come up to you and actually go, I can't stand you did that. Why would you do that? People used to line up and wait 10, 15 minutes just to tell me that they hated me. <laughs> It's like, oh, you hate me? Yeah, I mean, Father Gabriel. No, I don't hate Father Gabriel. I hate you, Seth Gilliam. You, I don't like you. No, you no, I mean, they, would, they, they would wait because, but that's great. That's, they're, they're having a visceral response yeah. to it. You know what I mean? They're tied into it. They felt completely betrayed. I think I think if he was if he was a mailman and he did it, it wouldn't have had it as an extreme response. But yeah. because he was a priest, there's an extra layer of level of betrayal yeah. to it, you know, because you imagine these are people who are supposed to hold on to things for you, mm-hmm. not just be tossing you under the bus, in a sense. All right, so I'm on, I'm talking to Seth Gilliam. I want you to give out your social media because we're going to get you into a movie with Leonardo DiCaprio. Titanic really? 2. We're going to work on that. Okay, okay Titanic, Titanic 2. And we're going to have you stand at the bow while it's under the water. I, I was <laughs> going to say, what is he like? Some kind of like transformed superhero you're like Aquaman go, or something? You're going to go He's under the water the and get the goddamn jewel back. That's, there the there we go. That's the future. What shows your social media handles? Uh, let's see. I've got The Seth Gilliam on Twitter. Uh, that's at The Seth Gilliam. Mm-hmm. And um, on uh, Facebook, it's just Seth Gilliam. And... Uh, Instagram is Seth Gilliam three five nine six or something like that. Okay, they love this. And this is the last thing I'm going to ask you before yeah. I leave. Um, do you tweet and all that stuff while you're the show's live on? I mean, yes. Okay, yes. I want to make sure. Live tweeting, yes. You got that, guys? They yeah, effing love that. No, I think they, they do. They do. I think I think uh, Sonico is really good with the live tweeting because she was able to like answer things. It seemed to me in real time. Yeah, it's like. I'm not getting much of a time lapse between her response. <laughs> Did she get that question like before <laughs> they aired that scene? Did that person know? But she's really good with it. What's All happening? Right. Hey, what's, what's going on? People? You better start lining up. You guys didn't get in line? All right. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. 
I'm not going to leave you any more. Anything else? You got any new projects on the way? Nothing. No, nothing at all. all right, this we'll is keep it. Walking, watching for you in The Walking okay, Dead. Thank you. All right, so that was Father we talked to. Yeah, from The Walking Dead. Father Gabriel, who actually turned out to be, well, a big, big uh, cast member now. Oh, he's, he's actually, huge. Yeah, he's really, really big. All right, you're listening to Your Nerd Side. Now, make sure uh, to always follow us on social media. It's at Your Nerd Side. Simple and easy, right? Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Always find out what we're doing. And on the website, win some cool, cool, cool things. I want to thank TuneIn. Make sure to follow us on our TuneIn page. Uh, you'll look for it. You go to TuneIn.com. Click on there and look for Your Nerd Side. All right? Give hey, our can I go back for Graham at the Walking Dead? Sure. Remember after we talked to Father Gabriel, mm-hmm. Emily Kinney. Do you remember Emily Kinney, who's Beth in The Walking Dead? The, the young girl? Yeah. Right? She I, was there. She was acting weird. It was. I was surprised. So, right? So, being a native from Wayne, Nebraska, I thought a little bit more hospitality uh, would come from her. Right? But there she was with her Starbucks. Did she have her glasses, sunglasses on, yeah, too, she didn't indoors? Want to talk. She did not want to talk to Anybody. anyone. And I was well, figuring... You, can, you know, I try to give them the... the the benefit of the doubt. I mean, a lot, of these, a, a, lot of the, a lot of these fans really get in their face and bug them a lot. They could be like, oh. But then I'm, why be there? I mean, you know, I'll be honest. Like, Vi- Viola Davis well, would what's say, her thank name? you for the, f- I mean, I mean, I'm not quoting her right now. But she shows so much appreciation of fans. Because if p- fans love you, you're going to get more roles unless you don't want any. Like, so she did get on a chance to be on Arrow, right? Yeah. And The Flash, right? Yeah. You know, so she was a villain on both of them. And, and she was decent on that. And she had some other roles. But, I I mean, that's your job. I mean, I remember working at Safeway. It's superior service. So regardless if it's someone just getting their um, their 80 ounce of beer or getting a $500 grocery bill, you have to give service and appreciation to people. If they disrespect you back, then I hear you. Yeah. But come on, you know, otherwise don't show up. Well, that was Father Gabriel we talked to a little earlier again from The Walking Dead. We're going to talk to Brianna Vesquez. Am I saying it right? Is it Vesquez? I have to look at it again. Vizquez. She played... Uh, oh, she is gorgeous. Talk about gorgeous. She looks more beautiful than she does on the screen. Did she really? Was she? You she, were even saying that. You're like, oh my God, she is so beautiful. I did say oh my that? God. Yes, you did. I, I did. Yeah, no, no. She, and she was classy. Um, did she really? Yeah. I don't remember. I don't remember this. Well, <laughs> well, we'll listen to the interview and see what I say to her. I she, forgot. She was she was beautiful. She was great. She was appreciative, um, and she was able to bounce back and forth because she's in Marvel Shield show. Um, and she, oh, excuse me, not only. Wait a minute. She's on three um, shows. With she's a comics. Supergirl. Supergirl. Yeah, that's right. Shield. And she does Walking Dead. Bravo. Wow. Let's get into an interview from a month ago, Walker Stalker, and we're going to talk to Brianna. She what, what was the three different characters she played? She was in Supergirl. Supergirl, Shield, Shield and The Walking, Walking Dead. Dead. Which she's still going to be back. Let's hear that interview from Walker Stalker. Hey, I'm walking around uh, Walker Stalker, and they said I can talk to people, and I come to this beautiful woman, and then not only is she that, but she's like the badass on The Walking Dead. Is it okay if I say you're badass? Absolutely. Oh, let me get it. Brianna Vanskus. Vanskus, yes. Vanskus. Yeah. Did I say it right? You did. You nailed it. I did. It'd be pretty it much. takes most people four or five times, so the second time's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> so on The Walking Dead, and I, I let, let's go back. You've yeah. done a lot of stuff. I, I get around. Were yeah. you on Shield? Yes. Oh my God. Shield, Do. And then you did the other movie with Marlon, uh, the Wayans. Oh son. yeah, the Wayans son. Yep. Uh, what, Let's be cops. Let's be cops. So you're doing tons of stuff. So what do you like doing better, the movies or the Walking Dead? Uh, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I, I won't judge you. I mean, you. I feel like the, you don't get any better than the Walking Dead <laughs> it, for an actor. If for for what you want to do as an actor, you literally can't get any better. All right, everybody's going. Well, Brianna, who is she? Yeah, like, wait a tell minute. Us, who is she? Okay, during the Walking Dead, if you've noticed, there's the village of all mm-hmm. females. Mm-hmm. They're out there, and all you guys do is you fish, fi- we you just fish, eat fish, and, fish and, and hang out. Down. You're the badass. You look like you wanted to kick Rick's ass when he took your guns. From I you. mean, don't come into my village and take my <laughs> shit. I, yeah, I, you, you're gonna get what's coming. No. Um, it's it, yeah, that was us, the Lady Tribe. Yeah, it's the Lady, Lady tribe. 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 Yeah. So with this, has this catapult you into a nerd side kind of a feel? It's yeah, I think of- it's I think it's just heightened it already because I've already been in so much of the comic book world. Yeah. That I think this just kind of 
It just it solidified. It solidified my my comic book status. She's she's gonna kill me because she said three questions, but I'm going all over the place. And they okay, and they just lead all over the place. Is um, do you notice like when you get into a world of acting? And it's like a superhero genre kind of. Uh, you're kind of in that kind of world. Have you noticed that a lot of actors? Do, yeah, I. And it's not a bad thing, but go ahead. I'm sorry. I no, I definitely got sucked into the comic book world, which is fine by me because I feel like what what better place to be than the girl running around with guns, yeah, pushing people over and like fighting in the woods. I mean, you, like it's kind of the greatest thing you could ask for. You could be the next there's female nothing, Terminator. There's I mean, nothing wrong with rom coms, no. but I will take this kind of show over a rom com any day of the week. All right, so. And if I don't ask these questions, people are going to get so mad. So, so mad. what is the next best big thing that's happened to you in Walking Dead? Are we going to carry on your character into the big war mm. following season? I know we can't ask you this stuff, but I have to ask it, and you're probably going to sugarcoat it. I mean, I would only hope, as a fan of the show, yeah. having watched the entire season, mm-hmm. that the Oceanside ladies are still a part of it in some way because we we have a lot of lady power <laughs> that's just going to waste. I gotta tell you something. You look pretty badass there. It's a good group. You look. And pretty, I mean, I mean, that's a good. I mean, yeah. For a real tape that you're gonna send out with your agency, I would could put be that worse. on there. Could be worse. I yeah. don't know. You can some good American, footage. American some good Gladiators footage. Gladiators next. Anything like that. All right. So what's in the pipe works? You got a movie coming out? Something? Uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna go work on a movie. Um, I'm shooting one next week in New York, yes. which will be fun. It's called Is Departures. It? Departures. Um, Who's, in yeah. it? Who's in it? Oh my god. Goodness, uh, Macy Williams, uh-huh. Asha Butterfield, I believe his name is. Cute. Okay. Young, younger actors, English, who are all very, very talented. So are the English actors that change their voice to be American? Maybe. Yeah, that's usually how it It seems works. to happen. It I don't know. I feel like Bastard. there might be one of those on this show. Or two. A, a or possibly three. I don't know. across the pond are stealing all <laughs> they're our... They're just so good. They're all stealing all our, our um, gigs. I know. And then I'll also be an outcast. Second oh. season. Yeah. Very good. So I'm hopping over to the other side of the Kirkman world. All right. And, and I'm at her table right now. If you saw the pictures, they're pretty. These are, I got a lot. Oh, my God. You were in Supergirl 2? Yeah. What did you do on that? I, I, was, one of, I was one of their, their intel agents. You didn't get killed off, did you? No. no. Okay, good. Oh, no, no, no. So you run back and forth and Yeah, sets. I'm just, I just, I, I hop universes real quick. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Social media handles. We got to get those out to you because I want to get you at least 100,000 followers. Yeah. Oh, God, yes. Um, Instagram, House of Venskis. Uh-huh. Uh, Twitter, The Venskis. The Venskis. And then I think every other thing else, The Venskis as well. That's awesome. Yeah. That's Come awesome. Come find me. All right. I want to see you in a huge movie next. A big, big movie. Me too. That's so weird. Leonardo I want that too. Leonardo DiCaprio. I want you to be performing with him and then kick him in the face. Can we do... A remake of uh, what goes the one that just came out where he fought the bear? Oh, uh, what is that? Yeah, I didn't like it. I didn't like but it. I, said, I think it's we could. Two I think hours we could. of him walking in the woods trying to heal his back. Oh. I'm saying a, we could we could do a sequel and I want to play the bear. I was on the flight and I was stuck with that. I wanted to gnaw and bear the person next to me. I'm like, this is so bad. It's like NyQuil, but for your eyes. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Brianna. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I'm, I, and I wasn't making fun of you at oh, all. I know. I know. All right. All right. That was Brianna. And I don't remember telling her that she was beautiful, but you, you, you swore off and on that I told her she was really good looking. I was hitting on her. Okay, no. no. What happened? Yeah, to be honest, was it, was Fonseca it, is a gentleman. He sounds was I Was opposite. I rolling tape when this was happening? Uh, I, I didn't hear too much. I don't know, because I am your photographer yeah. on the background. She's uh, always But I wouldn't be... What did you say? All women are photographers. Right? <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> All right. Uh, no, I, I I know for sure <laughs> off, and I think you said it very appropriately before okay. then. Well, since we were talking about The Walking Dead, one thing I want to talk about, Fear the Walking Dead. Have you noticed it's just turning into a Walking Dead? <laughs> yes. Fear the Walking Dead is just Walking Dead. It's just another show. It was not. I wish they'd spent more time of uh, the city's What happened collab- with the world? Yeah, yeah, what happened to the world? All of a sudden, it's the Walking Dead. Yeah, so. just focusing on one family. Oh. Now, did you keep up with the last scene? Uh, no, and I'm not going to do it. I don't say anything because the last one I caught was the dad's back again. You're really behind. But, yeah, I, I can't. Like kids all over the house. All right, real fast. I want to do this. Your nerd side has found out some important news. Rick Hunter and Roy Fulker reunite in the first look inside the new reimagined Robotech comic book. Oh, oh. oh someone's excited. I, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Thank God that the whole Macross saga. Uh, Toby McGuire was trying to buy the rights to it. He wanted to be. He oh, wanted yes. to be Rick Hunter. Uh, also. Uh, What's his name wanted? Leonardo DiCaprio wanted to be in part of it, too, because they're friends. And then Tom Cruise was trying to buy Robotech, too. He wanted to be Rick Hunter. 
you can't, dude. You're just too old. I'm so sorry. So if you don't follow it, the Macross Robotech series about the SDF-1 Macros, it's about a fighter Maybe the jet. Admiral. Yeah, you could be with the long beard. Hey there, Rick Hunter. Uh, it's about uh, 